Good evening, guys and girls. Uh, as you can see, we have a, a, box, tr a box truck that's uh, leaning right now to open the, the rear. Filled with, uh, looks like juices. Horribly shift the load. Uh, right now, at the moment, we can't ascertain just because I really don't want to get under it. Um, if the airbag is blown. But it looks like a shifted load. So, unfortunately, I will have to go around here. I touch one of these lines. Oh, I'll put my frame hook to the bottom. shift the load I think so because right now I touch the airbag and the airbag looks like it's hard it looks like there's there's air in it so it's just a load well I'm gonna have to push it this way get it to offload or see if I could push it with the airbags but I'm pretty sure a lot of it that has to do is in pallet jack there the pallet jack that's in the middle uh -huh. I'm in the middle off to this side I'm yeah. sure that has something what did they weigh 4300 1500 those? Yeah. 1500 that I need on that side. Right? That will pretty much extend out. I was, I was. just to protect the side of it. Listo.
Now it's secured. It's a, it's a, it's a load. Yeah. Yeah. It's the load. Yeah, that thing drives, no? See. We might be able to move a couple pallets on this side. Climb on top of the of the pallet jack and see if all these pallets are pushed against the side. Yeah. Yeah, right? That's what it is. A shifted load then. Yeah. Go ahead and climb. Yes, yeah, just like I suspected, it was a shifted load. Came in as a as a blown airbag or something but which sometimes we could tow them off what we do is uh we place a, a piece of wood in between the frame and the airbag and tow it away and chain it down but on this case no it's definitely not so just so you can see my rigging what it what i did is that i attached to the frame with the frame hook here Let's see if you can see that frame hook frame hook right here basically goes into the into the L portion of the frame hooks on right there then uh, it's uh, already attached with the with the grade 100 half inch chain and I loop it around to my web shackle yeah it's all on this side huh yeah okay Lo pusieron todo para la... okay well we're gonna have to move a couple pallets over yeah at least two it, well, if you want, we could we could offload it. Yeah. Um, do you have a crew? Do you have a uh, guys at your shop that can come and offload it? Yeah, right there. Yeah, if you can, you could do that offload it, and then we could tow it away. Or you, I mean, at that point, I think you'd probably be able to drive it off. To be honest with you. Uh, this is the old shop. Is uh, a broken? Uh, no, nothing's broken. The other one is the you know the. The airbag. Uh, the leaf. Huh? The leaf spring is broken. The leaf spring is broken. Yeah. I didn't see that. Let me see. Oh yeah, yeah, it is broken. Yeah. yeah, it has to be offloaded you know the, and then rear towed. You know the, you know warehouse right there. Is the they have a dock, so they can take them out. The, the now, but out. Uh, now you have to. Uh, you have to offload it down, here. Uh, yeah, right here. It has to be done here. Uh, yeah, and then it has to be towed from the rear now. Okay. Yeah, because since the leaf springs are broken, I mean, once you take it off, it, it might push it up a little bit, but you see how it's already rubbing against the box frame? So how can I, though? I don't have anybody. You don't have anybody over there that can offload it? No. As you can see right here, it has a broken uh, leaf spring. So it throws out any uh, attempt of uh, having to move the load over from one side to the other to, to balance it out. This uh, this truck is pretty much compromised, so it has to be offloaded. Mm -hmm. Right, Raymond? Right here. Yes. Right here. Yes. No. This side, it looks like it's fine. But yeah, that side definitely broke all that. That's crazy, huh? I mean, it has to be rear towed now. Oh, you can see how he drove. He drove on it, look at Raymond. Yeah. He was driving on it. Cause you can see the, the marks right here on the fender here. No, but you can see. Yeah, look at. Yeah. He was driving on it. Uh -huh. 
Uh, luckily, he didn't flip on him. Yeah. He was lucky. <laughs> but when he called me, he says it was leaning. And so we called out this truck to, to stabilize it. Yeah. So normally, sometimes the, sh the load does shift. And what we do is that we compensate. We start moving product from one side to the other just to balance it out, just to get you to the base. The problem with yours is that we can't load that side because you have but broken leaf springs. It wouldn't do no good. So this product has to be offloaded because it has to be towed from the rear. Yeah, okay, then the, you know the, uh, just the tow to the rear, to the, just the warehouse. The warehouse, what do you mean? Yeah, just, uh, just like that, to tow to the back and take it to the warehouse, you know? Uh, so they can have somebody properly, so they can take down. So into Downey. I know. It has, yeah. has to go to Downey? Yeah. This so has I, to go to Downey or your base? Oh, this one's a, I, I can ask better. The, you take it, they have a forklift. Yeah. Okay. We have a forklift too. Huh? Let me see. Hey, fo. Hey, this one has a, obviously a shifted load, right? So I, I stabilized it. Uh, but the problem is that um, on the opposite side where I'm supposed to balance the load at, it has a broken uh, leaf spring already. So, so it would have to be, obviously it has to get rear towed, but um, even moving the product off to the other side, I don't think it would do any good. So it'll probably have to get offloaded. I think he'll be able to grab it. Let me see if I could put a couple pallets on one side and see if that kind of balances it out and then uh, have it, yeah. I'll see right now, see if he could, uh, if you could hook up to it. I, I doubt it, but I'll, I'll move a one pallet over because it's all shifted to one side. Let me move a one pallet or two pallets, see if, when I let go if it's, if it's stabilized and see if you could hook up to it. Definitely. Let's move a pallet over and then, uh, We'll see if that stabilizes it, okay. and then we'll try to limp it over with, uh... Get, yeah, get it from the from the rear, and see if you can limp it over. It's only going like a block away, so... Yeah, let's see if we can move one or two pallets. We'll get that out of the way. Yeah, get, get all this down so we can move one pallet over. Can you move this pallet over to this side, please? Huh?
obviously you can see how much uh, just moving the, the pallet over sways it. So what I'm doing is I'm, I'm letting up a little tension on one side. So by the time that he comes over, it's even. Because if I have the same amount of pressure pushing up on this side, by the time that he moves it over, it's going to certainly need the other side. Forklift, yes, eh? Okay, turn that one. All the way, all the way. Okay, then. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, right there, it's fine. Okay. That was it, look at. That was it, I told you, it was a one pallet. Okay, that pretty much balanced it out. Yeah. See how it's balanced? Yes, sir. Okay. I'll de rig and see if you can grab it from the bottom and just limp it over. Okay? Because it has to be rear towed. Okay? Yeah, yeah. You think we should put leave the pilot jack in the middle here? Or what do you think? Oh, this is okay. Yeah. Huh? Yeah, I well, the thing is, is that we're at a grade. I think this is fine because of the... Of the yeah. Yeah. Huh? <coughs> Josh said to try with eight first. This one, uh, if we put it right here, let's make a little ballast. Put it back right here. Uh -huh. The thing is, is because it's, it's at a grade. Okay. You understand that? So we put this one here. Obviously, it's going to be like that, but by the time that we go up with it, it's going to be level. Because I don't know if you noticed, when I came with my truck, it's off to the side, too. Okay. And my truck is balanced, but I'm wondering if we should put your pallet jack on this side. Let me put a little bit more pressure on it, okay? And then we'll move it over. Okay, go ahead and move it. Fine right there. No. I está bien, no? But I'm looking to see if it's even on the on the frame. Okay, space. There's space on both wheels now. That's balanced. Originally, the, the tire was still hitting on that side. Mm -hmm. 
we're good because okay. you have even space between the bed and the frame and the bed and the frame okay. now. So this one just leave it there. Somebody will take it. It's yeah. a piece of money. If you want to. Like it. yeah. <laughs> it's up There's to you. Money over there. There's ten dollars. <laughs> ten dollars right there. A dollar a pallet? Yeah. 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 Sometimes they charge twenty dollars. But just leave it there. Okay. So right now what we're gonna do is we're we're gonna see if we could uh if we can grab it from yeah. the rear. Okay? <coughs> Started it out? Yeah. Uh huh. All right. Let's put it on that side then. You know how to do it? Yeah. Oh yeah, you're, you're Mr. Crown. We're gonna put it back on that side. Start leaning it again. Huh? Which side? We're gonna put it back on that oh, side. Yeah. that little forklift okay so now I have no tension The truck looks uh, balanced, even with the broken leaf spring. <clears throat> so what we're gonna do now is uh, we're gonna attempt to grab it with our our medium duty here from the rear and just limp it over. Flip your end, here you go. We pull forward, let's try it. What? Thank you, thank you. Yeah, we're gonna try to grab it from the rear, okay? Yeah. Just in case. Yeah, thank you. Also got my angle iron. Thank you, Raymond.
Yeah, he's gonna hook up from the rear. See if we could, uh, if we could tow it, just limp it. Check out these fit. It might be a little bit too wide. But I don't know. Perfect. You're a little off, no? Yeah, yeah. You're off center? Okay. Are you? Yeah. What we're gonna do is we're gonna try to offset it by putting a taller fork on one side. It does that because we're at a grade. See how the street is? Yeah, I see. That's yeah. why. That's why we're seeing that. Is it out of the air? No, huh?
What if we lift it and then we put pieces of wood and try to front to it? Yeah, también. Para que vaya bien. I have pieces of wood. Tell me if there's space in between it. I yeah. think right there we're good, no? Yeah. I'm good right there. It's, it doesn't even budge. Look at. Yeah, I one. Let's see if we could if we could uh, front to it then, because it's a lot more stable with with two sí. with the sí. dually sí. than the front. Yeah. Let's let's go to the front then. Yeah. Let's see. Let's try it. So what we ended up doing is we ended up uh, putting some blocks between the frame and the axle just to pretty much level it out and stable it out. With the airbags, the moment we were lifting, it was too, too wobbly. It would teeter-totter too much. So what with those pieces of wood, what it does is that we're pretty much fixating the, the frame to the axle, frame to the axle. And obviously it still looks like it's leaning, but that's because of the grade of the road. So the moment we pick it up and we start taking it off, it's a little bit more balanced.
That's good, right? Yeah. Yeah, it looks even. So we got the truck off the ground. And the truck is uh, relatively even. Obviously, if you guys see in the camera, it's gonna look like it's leaning, but here you could pretty much tell how from here it tapers off and here in the grade. And the same thing happens here, it tapers off. So the moment we get off to, uh, off and running out of this little grade, it will stabilize, especially with those blocks of wood that we put there. It, it holds it rigid rather than being on those uh, hair springs. Just let me help out Raymond by putting out this, this chain. good i'll follow you guys right now thank you i appreciate no it no worries yeah he'll go go with him yeah, yeah. okay i'll follow you just go gradually out of the out of the grade because that's what's leaning the truck right now is the grade none of these pallets he doesn't want to take them so Oh well. All right guys, from uh, Los Angeles, Ostar Base. Peace out guys.